What's up guys, Apple released iOS 13.7 to the public, but we didn't get any iOS 14 beta 7 today. We also got watchOS uh, 7 beta 7 today, um, which is quite a weird release. We will take a look at the features, the performance, the battery life, and whether or not you should update to iOS 13.7. So starting off, the update came in at about 3.3 gigabytes on my iPhone, the 2020 iPhone SE coming from 13.7 um, beta. Um, coming from 13.6.1, the update will be smaller than this. It should be a few hundred megabytes, around 200 megabytes for most of you. But it will vary depending on which device you have and from which surf software version you are coming from. So let's start by looking at the build number by going into settings, um, general, and the about section. We can see that we're running 17H35. So that's the build number here. And going lower to the modem firmware, we can see that the modem firmware remains unchanged. So here it's 1.06.00 on the iPhone SE. However, on the iPhone 11 series, it will be about 2. 0.07.00 and that is unchanged. So this number will of course depend on which device you have, um, which iPhone, whether it is an 11 or an 8 or etc. So if you had any connectivity issues, then those will probably not be fixed in this version um, since the modem firmware was not updated. So what really changed in iOS 13.7 and why do we have this update? Well, there is really only one change and this only one change is found in the settings and that's a new tab here which is exposure notifications for COVID-19. So if we open it up we have this new screen and as you can see it is not grayed out it is fully available now so you can turn it on. So if you want to know how exposure notifications work, you can pull up this little menu here um, and it gives you kind of an explanation about what your phone will be doing and how the data will be collected. So that's there. Um, then if you can go and turn it on without having an app, which opens this new uh, tab as well saying COVID-19 exposure notifications. Your iPhone can tell you if you may have been exposed to COVID-19. Your public health authorities guidelines determine if an exposure is significant enough to notify you and provide next steps. So this of course you can see how they work again um, and then you click continue so you select your region so in my case that will be Hong Kong under H so we click Hong Kong um, and as you can see exposure notifications are currently not available. So these are of course not available everywhere in the world yet so there are some countries that do some states in the US that do as well but if it doesn't click done um, and of course until you don't have an app you cannot use it but now you also have the availability alerts which will give you a notification when um, the notifications are available and turned on in your region. Now another thing, the VPN bug is probably still here. There's no notes about it being fixed or anything like that. So the VPN bug is essentially what it means is that even if you have a VPN turned on, some of your data might not be protected fully and some of it might leak out. So um, this is one vulnerability that is still here and has been here for quite uh, a long time already. Now, what about the performance? So the performance on iOS 13.7 is really good. I have no problems whatsoever. Everything seems to be working out. The animations are smooth and there really isn't anything that causes any problems. So it'll be almost identical to iOS 13.6.1 and um, you will not really notice any change there. But if you still had any bugs, they might be fixed here in 13.7. So that would increase your performance, but um, this version should really not bring any additional bugs. So you should be pretty safe. Now, in terms of battery life, battery life is also good. Um, some people had their battery life fixed in 13.6.1, which now begs the question if um, updating to 13.7 won't break it all over again. Um, the battery life should really not get worse or better. It should stay the same, especially this far um, in iOS 13. So really for now in iOS 13.7, I didn't notice any change in battery life and it is really the same as it was on 13.6.1. So should you update to 13.7? Well, if you are happy on 13.6.1, then you really have no reason to update unless you want to have that COVID-19 contact tracing. Otherwise, there really isn't anything to update to. There, there is really no great improvement. So at the end, it is really your choice whether you want it or not. So 
If you want to update, go ahead. If you don't, you won't be missing out on anything and you can just update later or just directly jump to iOS 14 when that one will be released. So when will we see iOS 14? Well, we should be seeing iOS 14 beta 7. We should have seen it um, yesterday, um, but it wasn't released. So we might be seeing it today or tomorrow. But regarding the final release of iOS 14, uh, we will have to see as there is really no clear date just yet since everything is still hanging in the balance for now. Well, um, if you updated to iOS 13.7, let me know what you think about it. Let me know um, if it's working out for you or if there are any bugs or any issues. Otherwise, if you enjoyed, then please do leave a like, subscribe, and hit the bell to stay notified when I release my next video. Also, if you missed out on my previous video, then you know what to do. Please click the card shown up there. Okay, take care, and I'll see you in my next video.